I 3D printed a running sneaker at my house and I'm gonna compare it to a 3D printed running sneaker from Adidas. Oh, this is 10 times worse. Oh, it's a bad idea. It's a terrible idea. But first, I wanna give a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Cheaty, who made this entire video possible. Cheaty Tech's large format X-Max 3 printer is perfect for printing sneakers. It's got a 325 by 325 millimeter build plate that actually builds up to 315 millimeters, so you can print giant shoes in this thing, it's wild. And I've used a lot of 3D printers over the last two years. You guys have seen me print so many shoes on this channel, and this is the fastest 3D printer I've ever used. It's mind blowing how fast this thing prints. I was able to print a shoe in like 25 hours, I think, in total and usually it takes me at least two and a half days to print a shoe. Plus the print quality on this printer is incredible. I've used both PLA and TPU and both have printed great and it's really easy to remove your prints from the build plate which is not always the case. Also it's an enclosed printer which means it keeps all the fumes and the smells and everything that you get from 3D printing inside the unit itself. I actually keep all my 3D printers in the garage and it's really cold in the garage right now because it's winter so it's really nice to have an enclosed printer so that all the heat stays in the actual printer itself so I don't ruin any prints. Which has happened to me a bunch of times before where I'll go to bed it'll get really cold outside and my print will be ruined. So it's really nice to have an enclosed printer to kind of solve that problem. So if you guys want to check out the Cheaty Tech X-Max 3 for yourself, which I absolutely recommend, it's incredibly easy to use. Make sure to click the link in the top of the description below. And of course I use it to print some shoes in today's video. But like I said, in today's video, we're going to be printing a pair of shoes to compete with a pair of Adidas sneakers. And I'm going to be going to a local running track and running both of them and see which one's better. I think we know which one's going to be better, but I think the reason you guys are still watching this video is because you want to see me inflict pain on myself in running in a home 3D printed sneaker, which is not fun. I don't know if you guys have seen my other 3D printed sneaker videos where I go to sneaker con and walk around in the event for a day. Dude, these shoes hurt, man. TPU is not a comfortable material when 3D printed on a home printer. So I'm not totally looking forward to this. So what I'm gonna do in this video is take some CAD for a pair of sneakers that I had already designed. In fact, I actually printed a pair for sneaker con a couple months ago. And honestly, the design of these shoes was relatively popular, as popular as a pair of home 3D printed shoes could be. Not so good for the rain. Like Vader. Yeah, these are crazy, I, I can man. see that. That's yeah. Yeah, these dark British. They're a lot better than the first ones you made, that's for sure. You wear it with some cargos that like cover over like, like them joints or the pants that's gonna come over, you come up. And then I'm gonna 3D print them again and run a lap on a track with them and compare them to a pair of Adidas 40 forwards. So let's get to it. Really not looking forward to this. All right, so before I print the actual shoe that we're gonna wear, I'm gonna print a PLA version in the same size, just to make sure that the sizing is right and everything is good. PLA also prints significantly faster. I think after um, exporting the G-code on my computer, it came out to like eight hours, which is incredibly fast. On any other printer, it would have taken significantly longer. This one, I mean, eight hours is insane. So I'm gonna print it out first, and then if all goes well, we'll move on to the flexible TPU. Okay, so the print does look like, wow, it came off super easy. Uh, the print does look like it has a little bit of an issue at the front. Um, I'm not sure exactly why that happened, but the resolution of the rest of the shoe is incredible. I mean, gorgeous. Look at that. That's ridiculous. So I printed this in um, hard PLA, but I'm gonna do it again in uh, TPU so that it can be worn. But so far, so good. I just need to figure out why exactly that happened at the end. I think it's probably because I had it sitting vertical and there wasn't a lot of support for it up there. So I might angle it like this and then support it through the bottom or support underneath, or maybe I'll print it flat and then run support up like that. I'm not exactly sure yet, but so far so good. Incredibly fast, I printed in like eight hours. I mean, this on one of my other printers would probably take me at least a day and a half. Few moments later. Bed's about to level. One thing I will say from printing the PLA shoe is that it just popped off the build plate. It was crazy how easily it popped off. Now I'm trying it in TPU, so hopefully that's just as easy. Obviously it's a bit slower, it's 25 hours versus like the eight hours for the other shoe, the um, PLA issue but still incredibly quick all right so we are three hours and 28 minutes in with 23 hours left to go and it's going really well I mean honestly like incredibly well for the first TPU print like genuinely I did not expect this first one to be perfect it's wild even with the Bowden tube everything's going great I can't believe it and it's so fast I love this printer, man. This is crazy. All right, so I've got my 3D printed shoes right here. I've got the old insoles from last time that I printed these shoes because I felt like I'd worn these for like a day and they were definitely more worn in than they were initially. So if I'm going to run in these, I want to use insoles that are already worn in because that could help with the comfort because I'm a little concerned about the comfort of these guys. So we'll see what happens, see how they feel. Let me try it once without the insoles just to kind of get a baseline. Pretty big, pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> There's like no padding in there. That's because I didn't add any. The insoles are meant for the padding. So let me throw these insoles in really quick and then we'll do this. Forgot how. I didn't really tolerance these at all. It's just straight up one-to-one -one fit inside the shoes. <laughs> all right, so insoles in, looking pretty good. Let me throw these guys on and see how they fit. I mean, they feel the same as last time, I'm not gonna lie. It's the same material that I'm using, so why would they feel any different? They're definitely digging into my uh, 
ankle right there. So I'm really concerned about running in these. But um, hey, it could be worse. They feel a little bit big. I, I went big because I was concerned they wouldn't fit perfectly. And they definitely don't, but they feel better larger than they would have if they were too small. So I kind of dodged a bullet there. All right, so we've made it to the test track. I'm not gonna lie, I'm dreading this a lot because I, I suck at running. Um, and it's really, really cold. So today, we're gonna be testing out these 3D printed shoes on the track. I tried them on earlier. I did a little, uh, you know, a little sprinting back and forth in my yard and they hurt. They hurt a lot. And it's not because of the, uh, the printer, it's because the material itself is very, very stiff. Now to compare, I am wearing the Adidas 40 Forwards, uh, a 3D printed shoe from Adidas, which to be fair has multiple millions of dollars worth of 3D printers that print these amazing 3D printed midsoles. So, you know, the competitions, uh, it's kind of unfair, but I still want to compare my home 3D printed shoes to these 3D printed Adidas. So what I'm going to do is run a lap on the track in both shoes and compare them and see what happens. Not, not looking forward to this. But uh, yeah, Jordan, what do you think of these shoes? I mean, those are really cool because they're entirely 3D printed versus right? okay. just the soles. Nice. It's pretty sick. You like that, their design? It's an older design. Yeah, it's a cool but, design. And it's just cool that a 3D printer was able to print a whole sneaker. That's true. That's cool. You're right about that. Shout out to Quiddy for sponsoring today's video. Plus, <laughs> they printed super fast, like in a day. It was nuts. Let's do it. Adidas sneakers. Let's go. So far, so good. They're a little bit firmer than I thought. Out of breath. Fine. Oh, this is a bad idea. It's a terrible idea. If I had that much trouble in a regular pair of actual Adidas sneakers, it's gonna be a big problem for the 3D printed shoes. So at this point, what we're gonna do is try on the 3D printed shoes, run in those, and see how they do. Now, I'm a little concerned that it's gonna hurt a lot, which is my uh, the experience that I had trying these on earlier. And again, this is a design that I did use for the sneaker con video a couple months ago. So I'm aware of how painful this is. So I did bring an extra pair of apothecary socks, doubling up on the comfort, super soft, super comfortable, grab them apothecary.com. It's squishier than I thought it would be. I did, I'm using the same insoles as sneaker con because I wanted insoles that were already broken in. So that's the idea there. Um, and it, <laughs> it doesn't feel great, but it feels better than I expected. Second one on, a lot of pain right there. And there. I'm gonna run as far as I can if I can't make it the whole way. I'm really interested about the traction on these. See if they can actually grip the track. My feet actually also slide out of the back. I made them a little bit bigger so they would actually fit without chafing as much, but they still chafe a lot. So, moment of truth, in the 3D print shoes, I'm gonna run the inside track. Should be a little bit shorter. <laughs> oh, this is 10 times worse. Actually, the comfort underfoot is not bad. It's just the rubbing against the sides of my ankles, but genuinely significantly better than I thought. The more that I go, the more it kind of like fists my foot. This is actually kind of crazy. I'm actually really impressed. Pull my pants a little bit. There we go. They're definitely sliding off my feet too, which is not great. I'm having to like adjust the way that I run to keep them on. This might've been a bad idea. Slid off again. Man, I wanted to finish strong, but they slid off right at the end. Okay, way better than I expected. They kept sliding off though, which is a bummer. All right, so. We did it. We ran a lap in both shoes. These were obviously the better choice. I mean, they're made for running specifically. These ones genuinely, genuinely impressed me. The insole really helped because it was a little bit compressed already, so it felt very squishy. The upper flexed really nicely. The TPU is great. Print quality obviously is amazing. And they fit okay. Like obviously a little bit big, so they slid off my foot a bunch, but not too bad. There was a little bit of chafing in here, which is something that I could probably solve by just adjusting the 3D. But like honestly, like if these are a 10 out of 10, I would give the 3D printed shoes Solid like four, way better than I expected. For a pair of shoes, it was not at all designed to be a running sneaker. Four is not bad. Better than running in sandals, I would say. What'd you think of them? You like them? Yeah, I was surprised you had the same running form with both. Really? Yeah, you looked good out there. Okay, okay. She has to say that she's my wife, but still, I appreciate it. But with all that being said, let's head back to the studio. All right, so obviously, the 40s won. The multi-million dollar company, of course, beat out the, the home printed pair of sneakers. However, I was genuinely impressed by my home printed pair of sneakers. This shoe actually performed way better than I ever expected, especially running a lap around a track. Like I never thought this shoe would be capable of that. Now, obviously it wasn't the most comfortable experience in the world, but it was genuinely doable. And actually, if you guys wanna see me try this again with a brand new design, designed more to be a running sneaker than just a, a random design that I reprinted from a couple months ago, <laughs> let me know in the comment section down below. I'd actually love to do another one of these videos. And of course, huge thank you to Cheat for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to check out the Chidi Tech X Max 3. This large format printer is absolutely incredible and you can literally print shoes that you can run in on that printer. It's wild. Again, check that printer out in the link in the top of the description. But with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.